is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Homeschool Academy, and as you know, I started a home daycare a few years ago, and today I'd like to share with you a shopping haul that I did because I found this cute little pirate ship set at Sam's Club yesterday. So I made an extra trip out to Walmart and to the dollar store to see what I could find to match with the theme. And uh, I'm adding this to our overall summer ocean theme. So with the pirates would go mermaids, sharks, and uh, just general ocean themes. So let me show you what I found. Of course, I got this at Sam's Club for $24.98, I believe it was, right at $25. I found these grass skirts at um, the dollar store, but what I'm going to do is this this the adult size. They had children sizes as well, but I'm going to use this to put around our grocery store um, in our dramatic play area and make probably like a little lemonade stand, perhaps a little fruit stand. I found this little straw hat at the dollar store. I found this set of lace at the dollar store. So as we know, pirates always visit the tropical islands. Also at the dollar store, I found this ocean themed um, bulletin board set. I got a couple packs of those, but the graphics I thought were cute on these. <clears throat> okay, I found this giant coloring activity book, <clears throat> and usually I don't do too much um, of the pre-printed um, coloring pages, but I do have two eight-year-old children that are girls that I think might enjoy this in the daycare. And so it has a lot of ocean-themed items in it. And it's pretty large. Okay, I found that for a dollar at the dollar store. I thought you can't beat that. Okay, also at the dollar store, this is a another large book, and it's shark themed. Of course, we don't want to walk the plank. Have to get into shark infested waters. I found this shark frenzy book from the dollar store as well. All about sharks, so that'll go on our bookshelf. And then I thought for the older girls, this art framer, create your own framed artwork. But what I might do is either laminate these, so I can get that into focus for you, uh, or put these in sheet protectors, and we could do some math practice work on here. Any number of things, spelling words on here, sight words, and, and with using with dry erase markers, and then we could still save the paper. Okay. All right, I found this um, ocean themed, and this is a dolphin, an ocean themed tablecloth. This is a plastic tablecloth at the dollar store and I thought what I'd do is put that on the wall as a mural. They had these blow up decorations. So I got one of each. Penguin, a pair, or not a penguin, a um, parrot, a flamingo, and a uh, palm tree. On Pinterest, on Pinterest, I found this idea where you take colorful um, cupcake liners and you use those to make an art uh, work with, you make fish, and these are the fish's gills. And so that I picked up a pack of those. Okay, also at the dollar store was this cute crab, and he's made out of felt. And but he has a little glitter on him. I thought he was really cute. So we're going to use that for decoration. Okay. 
at the Walmart, I found this set of puzzles. This has three puzzles, but one of them is the uh, ocean theme. And we can just store the other two that came with the set. I think that was about five or six bucks. I went ahead and picked up this cube Disney princess puzzle for the eight-year-old girls that come. Um, I had my eye on this and been thinking about getting this anyway, but it does has the, have the other Disney princesses, but I wanted the mermaid uh, one out of this for this particular um, theme. Okay, to also go with the theme, this is something else that I had been wanting for a while and have just been waiting to get get it, and I just decided to go ahead and do it. Um, this is the Melissa and Doug brand wooden fishing game, and it's magnetic, and as you can see, it has the numbers here on the fish. It's also a color matching game, and you use the fishing poles to try to capture and catch your certain fish that you're aiming for and here's the little spin wheel so that I thought would be cute with our theme now as a sensory bin idea let me move this camera for you so I can zoom in a little bit so I found an idea on Pinterest of a sensory bin where you use um, move these for you where you use the black beans in the bottom of your sensory bin. I picked up these little uh, party favors at Walmart in the in their uh, little party section. And I will put the frogs out of the pack into our frog theme. But I will use the snakes and the little alligators out of this theme. In the fishing section for their fish tanks in Walmart in the pet section I found these jewels okay and that's going to go in the sensory bin and then also in the party section I found these little these little rings for the um, little party favors for little girls birthday parties so I found these rings so that's going to also go in the sensory bin now at the dollar store, this is another sensory activity, but I found this alligator and these other ocean animals. There's a starfish, a lobster, is that a, like a whale and a stingray. And you're supposed to be able to put these in water and watch them grow. So that's a start for our pirate theme. And I have a lot of other ideas that I'd like to put together, but this will give us a good start. And uh, I can't wait to share with you some of the pictures in the future of how it all turns out. So I hope you like this idea, and if you have some other great ideas, please leave them in the comments. And I'll be linking the Pinterest board uh, to this theme. As soon as I get it together, I'll put it in the description. So I hope you enjoy your homeschooling and your daycare this week. Happy homeschooling. Like, share, comment. Bye.